For today's art activity, we're going to create a 3D printed radial symmetry pendant. I'm going to start by using the app Amazeograph. Amazeograph is this app right here. You're going to tap it and open it up. Once inside of Amazeograph, we are going to choose the mandala setting. So under create new, you're going to choose mandala. Now in here, I'm going to draw my design. I'm going to keep my design pretty simple. I am going to make it with different sizes of lines and I'll show you how to change the size, but we are only going to use one color. The first thing I'm going to do is tap on the paintbrush at the top. As you can see, there are different ways you can change the settings for the paintbrush or the drawing tool, but I'm going to just change the shape tool to the one that has a solid edge and not the fuzzy edge. That's the only thing we really need to change for right now. I'm going to start by drawing my design. And you can make your design however you think is best. Maybe you wanted to make it look like a snowflake. Maybe it's going to look like a flower. You decide how you want your art to look for today. So I'm going to continue working on my design until I like the way that it looks, making sure not to go outside of that circle. That circle is kind of our border. It tells us that we shouldn't go past it because if we do go past that spot, then whatever we make will not show up in our final design. Now make sure that all of your lines touch and connect. So if I put a dot in the center, when it goes to print, it will not be connected to everything else. So I do have to make sure that that line touches everything else. So maybe I'll have the center solid instead. When you are finished with your design, you're going to click on the three dots. Down at the bottom, you're going to click share. And then you're going to click save image. Now we are going to exit out of Amazeograph and go to a different app. The next app that we are using is Image Converter. Image Converter is this app right here. You're going to tap it, you're going to open it up. It's going to ask if you want to start the free trial. All you have to do is click the X at the top left hand corner to exit out. Now here you can see all the pictures that I have in my Photos app. Right now this is the only picture that I have in my Photos app, so I'm going to tap it and select it. This is the design that I just made in Amazeograph. And now I'm going to click on the button down here where it says 1. And I'm going to choose the type of file that I want to convert it to. For 3D printing, we need to change it to an SVG. So I'm going to convert to an SVG and I'm going to press the convert button. It will take a few seconds to transform the file from a JPEG into an SVG. And when it is done, you can press the check button. And here you can see this is SVG and you have it selected. And then down at the bottom, you're going to tap share and we're going to swipe down and we're going to save it to our files. And I want to make sure that I'm saving it to the files on my iPad. And then I'm just going to press save. And now I'm ready to open up my design in Tinkercad. Once you are logged into Tinkercad, go over to plus create and then choose 3D design. Now that I am in Tinkercad, I am going to come up to the top where it says import and I'm going to tap import. Then I'm going to tap choose a file. And then I'm going to choose a file right here, choose a file. And I'm going to tap on over here where it says on my iPad. And then I'm going to look for my design. It looks like it's right here. So I'm going to tap it. Now it is going to be too large at first, so you're going to come down to the dimensions. Whichever one has the larger number, so that's going to be the width for this one, whichever side has the larger number, you're going to change it to 100. And then when you hit return, it should automatically adjust the other one for you. Then I'm going to click the button for import. Once your design has loaded in to Tinkercad, you can check to see if you like the way it looks. So far, it looks like everything turned out really well in my design, and you can see that it is now 3D.
If I tap on it, and then I tap on the white box in the center, it shows me that it is 10 millimeters tall. That is a perfect size for printing. What I am going to do now, if you want to, you can come over here under the basic shapes and you can find this little flat orange tube. If you tap it and then tap it on the work plane and then you can slide it and connect it to your design. If it is too big, you can tap one of the white boxes in the corner and make it smaller so you like the way it fits. That looks pretty good. It does need to overlap or touch your design in order for it to be connected. If I tap on the little selection zoom in feature, I can zoom in and I can kind of maneuver my screen or my view to see that they are touching and connecting. And I can even adjust it further if I want to. Adding this little ring will give it a spot for me to add a string or some yarn so I can hang it up or hook it onto something after it 3D prints. I'm going to click the house to go back to the main view. Again, because my design is radial or symmetrical, it doesn't matter where I put this, it should be at the same anywhere you want to put it on your design. Up at the top, I'm going to go up here and I'm going to delete what it says. I'm going to type in my name and the word pendant. And then I am finished. So I'm going to hit close and then I can tap the Tinkercad logo to log out, to save and log out. And then I'm all finished with designing my symmetrical pendant.